Next, I would like for you to focus on page, um, this is page 485, it has namespace for me. On, this is chapter 7, namespace, looks like this. And I'd like for you to come and look <coughs> at uh, the, the, one of the things I want to talk to you about is the scope resolution for this. And in the scope resolution, it's depicted by <coughs> these two the syntax for it and when you look at the syntax how do you define the scope of the global type of this thing so um, I'll see if I can actually find this thing this is right below example 7-8 and right here and the scope that you actually use the scope resolution operator is the two colon colon the same? All right. Just want to highlight yellow and click it. There we go. So make sure you know this part right here. That's the part that I will um, I, I, I will definitely ask you is the colon colon uh, with us, and that's how you access the scope of that function inside of that. Okay. Next, I, uh, I want to point out that uh, there's an example in the book. This is example uh, 7-14. I will ask you about the length. So uh, make sure you know how to count when I ask for a length on an array. You're going to start counting with a 1, right? So length, size, uh, I'm sorry, length and size of a string. Uh, so you make sure you understand how to do that for me, okay? Counting with a 1 is very similar to it. Um, the next one on page um, on page 491 or 490 491 approximately with it I um, would like for you to know uh, how do you access a certain array on the string type with it and if you scroll down um, for example how do you concatenate I could add a string to it put a space in between it uh, make sure you know that you know, you can't do this with it, and uh, this is an illegal document with this thing. But more important is that if you look at example 7 13 um, with it, uh, how, you know, if I want to access a particular array with this, I'm going to give you a string, and then I will actually want you to substitute a position in that string with another letter. So, so something like this is very, very, very comparable that I will have you access like for example hello there and I want you to actually come in and do C outline and take the string one which is hello there take that number six in there and put that in there and substitute it with it as well so what does that look like so make sure you understand how that actually work with it as well okay and and how do you access a particular string position for that The other one I have is on page uh, 491. Uh, I from page 491, I, I pull a couple of questions from it. So uh, it's going back to this part right here, uh, not this right here. It's this section right here. So understanding all and a lot of this right here is on page 491, and what's legal and what's not with it. Okay. Enum data types. Okay, make sure you know how to do enum data types with it. Um, I would make sure you understand how the static cast work 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 with this. So let me back up here. I'm gonna So I have a few of these operators in here. Make sure you understand static cast and be able to do static cast from expression to an int. Okay. So I, I do have um, this right here. I do have something very similar, and will ask you what is the value of, of of an expression after it's been assigned, and what is. So if you look at this right here, all right, 
do the expression uh, of the popular sports and popular sports is is assigned to uh, to to add with a number assigned to this expression to a sport assign that to if I ask you to see out that so enum for example for example um, something like if I very similar to is if I did like um, I give you a new data type of uh, toys, for example, and I have these are my toys. I have a ball, ball, um, bat, glove, uh, and base. All right. So in my in my toys that I'm declaring, for example. I could declare, I don't know, um, object um, equal to um, ball, for example. All right. Now, what if I give you a statement? What if I give you a statement of of object um, equal to a static cache expression? Static cache. And I'm going to pass in is the toy, right? Is the toys in this thing? And I'm going to actually do uh, my expression. My expression would be uh, object. My expression would be like object plus one, for for example. All right. And I ask you, you know, set. Let me know what the value of domestic to. Okay, I know what the value of the of the of the of the of the of the object. All right. So what is the what is the value of this object would be uh, with, with with this what, what I have right now. So if you look at this object right now, that I, you know with the static in this toy and this ball that I have right. So I would actually have, let's see here if I did this right, object ball, and then I would actually do that. I do toys. I do this. This looks kind of weird here. Okay, so toy. That's right. That's right. That's the ball. To uh, the object, for example. This is my data type with this thing. Now I'm going to take this object that I just assigned. Uh, I'm going to give it a static cast of the data type is toys, right? Toys, and I want to do the domestic, the 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 object in this thing is the is the object. I'm going to just do a simple expression: it's object plus one, right? So what would come out from this thing? What would come out from this thing? What would come out from this thing? Well, you know that ball starts out with zero, bat is one, glove is two, base is three. So your object in this case right here, if I took, for example, object is ball, ball is what? Zero. Put zero in here. Zero plus one. One. Convert that over. Uh, the toy is what? Your toy is your bat. So the answer to this is bat. All right? Because it comes out as number one with it, so that that's the type of stuff that that I want you to get out from this thing. Okay. The the next example is on page five zero three. This is example seven eighteen. The swap function, and if you understand the swap function in here with it, um, I'm going to give you a string, and the and the syntax is you have your first string dot swap second string. So it swaps the two, the two um, strings between coal and warm. Warm is not coal, so it just swaps the two. So string one is coal, string two is warm, and this is how you do it with a dot syntax with it. So uh, make sure you understand how the dot syntax work with that as well. Again, um, I ask questions about length. Another enumeration about data types or enum data types with it. So make sure you, it's, it's a similar problem that I have in here, what I have right here. Okay. Uh, page 474. 
page 474, which is 